you, Dr. Wormuth. As Dr. Wormuth said, I'm Julie, and I'm a senior at Marist from Long Island. When I first came to Marist, I stood there, waving goodbye to my parents, holding back my tears. I never thought I'd be able to view Marist as my second home. All I could think about at that time was, what am I supposed to do now? I was leaving the comfort zone of my family, my friends, and my high school all at once. I didn't know anyone when I first came to Marist, with the exception of the small group of people I met during orientation in June. Imagine that. I was the only one. August 23rd, 2005, was my first day as a freshman at Marist. Within the first few days, I knew I had to establish myself and find what I was most comfortable doing. That's when I decided to run for the vice president of the class of 2009. Since no one knew me, I had to start from scratch. This meant going door to door with lollipops with my campaign slogan attached to it, posting flyers anywhere and everywhere around campus, and wearing my bright lime green campaign t-shirts all around campus, which read, Julie Labbins, pretty sweet, no one else can compete, vote for vice, oh no. Now I know it's corny, but you know what? It won me the election. And at that point, even though it was within the first few weeks of me arriving on campus, I knew that Marist was truly the place for me. Now you're probably wondering, why is this girl speaking to us? To be honest, I really feel like I can connect with you guys. As seniors, I at Marist and you at your high school, we're about to embark upon a whole new chapter of our lives. And it's scary, I know. Now while you're trading in your high school diploma for four years, filled with incredible classmates who are just as driven as you are, faculty who challenge you intellectually, and experiences that will allow you to blossom to become the person the world needs today. I, on the other hand, have to leave all of this for the real world. <laughs> but what I want to convey to you today is that I truly have a great feeling of preparedness. And I want to look forward to look, <laughs> I really look forward to what lies before me. I feel that I owe this to my Marist education and the experiences and opportunities I've had during my time here. My objective today is to give you an idea of what opportunities Marist could hold for you. To be here today means that you all have distinguished yourself. So congratulations. You truly have something amazing. You have passion. You are pursuing and working toward the goal of a higher education and hoping that you can get all you can out of it. You have some goal you're working toward, or maybe you don't know what you want to do yet but you do want to make the most out of that higher education and take advantage of all the doors that will open from here on out. From my personal experience, I can tell you that Marist College truly offers the resources and opportunities to get you where you want to go and the help to realize those dreams. As a senior, I can tell you by taking advantage of these resources, you will graduate with a sense of confidence and not fear. I'm going to take you through my journey here and give you a sense of what Marist truly has to offer. In four years, I've managed to build a home meet a great group of friends, lead my class in memorable and successful events, immerse myself in a top-notch education, and have the time of my life all at the same time. Here at Marist, I've made lasting memories that would truly last a lifetime. If I could, I would love to freeze time and stay here for the rest of my life. But sadly, that's impossible. And now I'm constantly asking myself, well, what am I supposed to do now? That's a great question. I'm majoring in communications with a concentration in public, public relations and minoring in business. Ultimately, I plan to work in the marketing department of the Food Network. <laughs> Thankfully, due to the vast resources and connections and the hard work and dedication I have put forth throughout my time here, I have had internship experience in both fields. Last summer, I had the opportunity to work at the world-renowned Food Network and intern in their internet ad sales marketing department. It was just a dream come true. Imagine working for the just about the only station you ever watch, and learning all that goes behind the scenes about it. It was truly an eye-opening summer for me. Before interning there, I thought I had a career in event planning set for me because I'm so immersed in college. Within the first few weeks of working at the Food Network, though, I realized that I had another calling in life, and this was truly for me. So, I met, so many of my friends have had wonderful internships at ABC, NBC, CBS, and MTV. You name it, it's more than likely that a Marist student has either interned there or currently works there now. For you criminal justice majors, Marist has been so fortunate to send talented students to New York City to intern with the Secret Service, 
Imagine going to a Bruce Springsteen fundraising concert for Barack Obama with the Secret Service on your side. Cool, right? For those of you who might want to major in history, as Dr. Wormus said, some of our history majors have done research at the Franklin D. Roosevelt Library, which is located just two miles down the road, and even at Cambridge University in England. <coughs> for our medical technology students, we've been lucky enough to send students to Yale New Haven Hospital to perform in their medical labs. We've even had students study at the London School of Economics while still interning with a member of the British Parliament. Not everyone can say they've done that, can they? Clearly the possibilities are endless and I can promise you that you will truly find that niche at Marist. Remember how I said you can truly realize your dreams here? Well, my next story really might make you realize that anything's possible if you have that passion. <laughs> Last August, I decided to email the dean over at the Culinary Institute of America and the media marketing manager there because I had this great idea to start a college-run cooking show titled Classy College Cuisine. So I met with them, and after several meetings and a lot of idea planning, um, we used the resources that are at our lovely communication school, Lowell Thomas, and the great resources they have at the Culinary Institute of America with their talented chefs and their great Danny Cave Theater and I'm proud to say that yesterday we filmed the first two episodes of my college TV show. Now, if you do choose to come to Marist next semester, I promise you they will air on the <laughs> MCTV, which is Marist College Television, uh, television station, and you guys can check out um, what we have to offer to you. And that just shows that everyone can be behind you if you have an idea. You just need to have that passion and work towards it, and you'll eventually get what you want. Since you're all are very talented and have shown that you're top of the class, the question is, why choose Marist? Well, my question to you is, why not choose Marist? The difference in coming to Marist instead of going to a bigger institution is that you can get the help you seek if you truly want it. You'll never find your class in 100 or more students. Instead, you'll be one of 20 or fewer students, and the professors are readily available to provide that one-on-one -on -one assistance that you might need. Students at Marist have a name and a face. I promise you that they're not just a name on a roster. You'll find that professors at Marist are more than just teachers. If you care enough to build that relationship, they will be there to become those great friends and mentors we need. It's not rare to hear that one of your professors is taking your class out for sushi to celebrate the end of a great semester, or maybe bring in some baked goods to congratulate you on a job well done. Professors at Marist are very enthusiastic about their students' goals and are willing to help us achieve them. If it's writing that great recommendation letter for a scholarship, internship, graduate school, they'll do it. Their doors are always open and they truly care about our performance and success. Aside from our great academic program at Marist, we truly have a beautiful campus. What better location can a college have than being located along the gorgeous Hudson River? On a day like today, it's common to find the student body sprawled out on the campus screen maybe with their laptops, writing a paper, reading a book, throwing a frisbee, or catching some rays. James A. Canavino, you know, that's the library at our college, and I promise you, if you choose to come to Marist, you'll be spending some quality time with him. It's not a bad thing, I promise. Here at Marist, we're a family and a community that has a common goal. The goal of graduating with a major we're passionate in while receiving a valuable education that will prepare us for the world ahead while building those lasting relationships at the same time. You can study abroad for a few weeks, first semester, maybe even a year. I was fortunate enough to um, be involved in two short-term study abroad programs in Rome, Assisi, Sicily, Paris, London, and Madrid. Whatever you want to do, wherever you want to go, Marist will help you achieve that goal. This brings me to where I am today, standing in front of you all, delivering this talk to help show you what Maris truly has to offer. I wholeheartedly believe that if I hadn't made the decision to come here to Maris, knowing only what you might know now, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I'm a very determined person who is willing to devote the time and energy to my studies and getting where I want to go. But that would have been a whole lot harder without the devoted, talented, knowledgeable, and willing faculty and staff who have constantly supported, through, supported me throughout the entire time. So if you choose to come to the Marist community, it's very likely you'll find yourself as that lost freshman who can't find Lil' Thomas for their first class. That happened to me. Or maybe you'll even sleep through your first college winter. 
That happened to me too. Only because I set my alarm for 7 p.m. instead of 7 a.m. <laughs> I was able to take that midterm and I wrote about what happened that morning. But here's the catch. I never would have imagined that that poor lost freshman would end up here with the honor of standing before you today, having accomplished all of these things. And remember, even if you're not willing to go out and run for student government, you'll find your calling at Maris and truly become a part of our family. Maris has truly been my home away from home for the past four years, and I could not imagine my time anywhere else. Thank you and good luck to all of you in whatever and wherever your decisions take you.